Hello, everybody. Welcome back. And I upgraded that hover like I said it would off camera and what that. So, you know, now it's plus five. What that? Which is super nice. And, uh, you know, I've actually been thinking about the whole Sif cutscene thing. And I realized uh, to do that, I would have to not kill the four kings until after everything else. And, eh. I was thinking, my, my line of thought was. I would be able to get the if I kill the four kings first and do like everything before the DLC area, I would be able to get the Black Knight armor with the Black Knight weapons and what that. But you know, then I realized I already dropped out the Lord Vessel, so we might as well do it anyway. So yeah, we're we're, we're not going to kill Sif yet. If in case I said that confusingly, we're not going to kill Sif right now. I considered doing it, but you know, we wouldn't be able to turn the Dark Raids anyway. I've already taken that out of the equation, but. We will now head over to, actually let's go and kill the Hydra so we can get ready to go into the DLC later without making some extra side trips. We'll just, I mean, you know, it's a side trip in itself, but the second place we're going to have to go to is somewhere we we're about to be going to anyway, so that in, its, that in itself is not a side trip. Also, can I level up? I can. I used some, uh, some of the boss souls I collected through the game to buy Twinkling Titanite. I farmed some of it too. I only had to buy four. But yeah, this, this halberd, we do some crazy damage. Oh, we haven't killed this thing yet. Okay, let's, let's use the halberd on this little SOB. Yeah! Wreck him! Three hits. Amazing. We'll take that. Yeah, we'll head over here. Murder trees. Only you can cause deforestation. <laughs> Now we just need to head down this cliff side and we'll be making our way over to the Hydra. Hopefully we don't get murdered on our first go. We'll rest of the bonfire down there just in case. Just a few hops. Rolling down cliffs. Rolling down cliffs. Yeah, nothing really to say about just going down close. Anyway, uh, uh, that Hydra about the fight is going to be a one tough customer, especially since my shield isn't that well upgraded. That his his water shot things are probably going to do quite a number to me if I get directly hit. They might even just outright kill me if I get directly hit. After all, my I'm not really wearing much armor, and my vitality is only like 21, 23. That's higher than I thought it was, but yeah, the vitality is still pretty low. Uh, it's not too low though. It's just a bit low. But for the higher, the higher don't give no shits about that. He'll he'll one shot you with his water shots if you're not careful. You just gotta you just gotta approach him carefully. Once I get to him though, he's he's his days are numbered because of this halberd, man. I'll I'll destroy him with it. It's so strong. Dude, try to leap at me. Just smash him. We'll just smash him. Oh god, he's shooting water from pretty far away. Farther away than I remember. Ooh. Good thing that wasn't a direct hit. That could have been the end for me. We'll use that tree as cover of sorts. Dodging this water while we're dealing with these dang golems. Golems, golems, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we should be safe this close. Yes, okay, went right over me. Oh, did not want to roll. Had a, I, think that was, I think I can blame that on action delay. Because <laughs> I did not touch roll, but it almost sent me over the edge of the water. That would have stunk. Dropping off his heads in one hit each is pretty crazy. We're doing so much damage per hit though, we're gonna kill him before cutting off the legs. If you 
If you do just the right amount of damage, you'll actually be able to kill him by chopping off all the heads, as opposed to um, uh, just doing damage to him when you hit the head. Like, if you chop off all his heads and still have some health with, he'll, he'll just instantly die. Although I have seen a glitch before when somebody did cut off all of its heads and it was just still alive for whatever reason. It's pretty funny. It was just like a body with a bunch of necks yelling like crazy. Slap on the rusted iron ring that we got way back at the end of the sound, so we can actually go through this water at a speed faster than molasses. <laughs> Right, so there's supposed to be a guy back here. He's not here, and that's because we need to reload our game after killing the Hydra. It doesn't have to be like over here. You can just leave the area and or warp somewhere or something like that and come back. Which I always felt this was actually really, really dumb because oftentimes I I mean how many people do you really think is going to kill the Hydra and then not go immediately go to the cave that it was guarding? People are going to kill the Hydra, they're going to go to the cave, they're going to see nothing here, and then they're just going to leave and never come back, because why would they? There was nothing here before. Especially since this is actually where the DLC area, the the entrance to it is. It's not here right now, because I haven't like met all the qualifications for it, but this is where you would find the DLC. A lot of people would never know about that unless checking the internet. They might buy the DLC and just so, not, most great. not ever dust. experience it. From... So there's some lady. She's like, you want me to help you? I'm like, sure. Yeah. And now she's like, she's thankful that she gets to help me because I saved her. And then she's gonna disappear, and we're gonna go talk to her again momentarily. Amazing how our feet are going in the water, but not, we're not really splashing that much. I mean, now we are, but we, you know, we weren't when I started that sentence. Here's her sign. She actually has a summoning sign. He doesn't even ask if you if you're okay with it. You just go up to it and push the A button or X if you're, if you're using the PS3 controller, and she just shows up. Hey, Dusk. I and she'll sell you stuff and teach you a gesture. In my opinion, it's the worst gesture in the game, but it's a gesture all the same. And you know, I, I'm not using magic, so none of these things really benefit me. But yeah, these are actually some of my favorite spells in the game. You know, I don't really like magic much because I feel uh, the online element of it's, of it's kind of cheap because there's lots of times with the, the tracking just doesn't work right over peer to peer. You'll dodge magic by like 10 feet and next thing you know you'll take damage to it like 2 seconds after it's like gone way past you. I mean, I don't mind if somebody wants to use magic, just... I don't know. I don't see why somebody would spam like soul spear, crystal soul spear in PvP. And then, you know, after like 10 shots, they would get like one hit, and then, I don't know, be all excited about it. I mean, odds are if you shot that many times, and they dodged that many times, and then they suddenly get hit, it's honestly most likely just because there was one laggy hit. Yeah, because, I mean, the spells are so strong. They'll like one shot somebody if they don't have their shield up. And if they do have their shield up, it'll still drain like a fifth of their health. It's pretty ridiculous. But, uh, you know, Dark Souls 2 will probably fix that. I've noticed there's a lot of. I actually kind of want to talk about the spells in Dark Souls 2. There's some really cool ones. I'm definitely, like, I'm finally going to make a sorcerer. I had a sorcerer in Demon Souls because it was fun and it didn't feel cheap. Dark Souls, it felt really cheap to be a sorcerer just because the lag just is unreliable. It's mainly just because the spells have such crazy tracking. So oftentimes it'll appear on one player's screen different than another player's screen, which causes those F-ups. Because, I mean, as long as the guy who shoots it, like, sees they hit you on his screen, even if you dodge it on your screen by, like, a mile, it still counts, which is... Absolutely ludicrous, if you ask me, but it causes a lot of problems. It cause, I mean, even even for melee, I don't think I'm exclusively bashing magic with lag. Even melee, there's phantom hits, which is where uh, maybe you'll be out of range of something, but you like maybe you just got out of range. But on their screen, since you know there's latency, they haven't seen you get out of range yet, and they swing their weapon and they hit you, 
And then, you know, on your screen it appears that they just swung at the air that's in front of you or behind you, depending on which way you're facing when you're escaping, whether you're turning around and running away or you're just backstepping away. Uh, you know, you'll just, you'll suddenly get hit and the weapon will just kind of hit the air in front of you or behind you. It's pretty ridiculous. The only thing I think is beneficial about the lag is it makes parries, like, it makes parries be a reasonable difficulty to do for the reward you get for parrying somebody. If you can parry some, or like all the weapons based on reaction, nobody would ever swing their weapon. They would just wait for the other guy to do it and then parry it. You'd be able to do lots of lots of parries entirely on reaction. That was terribly that was terribly done of me. And oh oh, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm about to be. Uh, and I rolled backwards, but I guess my baby toe got caught on that pole there, which stinks. But. We'll uh we'll just go right back to that bonfire and run over here. No big deal. Oh, we're all gross and undead again. We'll uh reverse hollowing at the next bonfire. Actually we won't because we're gonna get killed by see actually I think I'm gonna have a ring of sacrifice. Do I did I ever even pick one up? I didn't. Crap. Well I don't think I have much souls and stuff on me, so I don't really mind losing them. No big deal. No big deal at all. So, you know, we're going to look like Bacon Man for a little while now. Leathery Burnt Bacon Man. And, uh, yeah. So what was I talking about? I know I was talking about ma Oh, yeah, parries, yeah. I mean, because, you know, if you parry the right weapon, you'll do, like, over a thousand damage. You, you can even one-shot people if you have, like, the Hornet Ring on and, uh, like, maybe a weapon that amplifies parry damage is pretty ridiculous so you have to parry like ahead of time almost as, oh, it's it's basically like a like a guess or a prediction depending on what kind of parries like if you parry at the start it's a guess don't say it's a prediction it's a guess you don't have enough information to make an accurate prediction it's a guess I'll admit I, I guess parry a lot but uh you know at the start like I'll, I'll assume that a lot of people walk up to me and will immediately attack. I mean, that one, maybe you can justify that one as a prediction because a lot of people will actually do that. But for that specific person, you're guessing, really. Oh, let's not get murdered again. I could have cheesed these guys. I probably should have. Oh, God, I did not think he would have that kind of reach. You will not defeat me. Oh, okay, he defeated me. I didn't... I, uh, I thought I could block that. That was... I mean, he didn't... It's not like he charged me that fast. My guy is blocked much worse. He has blocked much heavier hits than that, I gotta say. I feel I should have been able to block that. I am... I do feel that that death was not really justified. I should have been able to block that. I block so much worse. I block attacks from a gigantic man with a hammer that's three times the size of my body. But I can't block a boar's horn when he's running at me at like... Like 20 miles an hour. Less than 20 miles an hour. 15, something like that. I don't know. But, you know, you get where I'm coming from here. Either way, these guys don't respawn, so the first one won't show back up, but the second one will. I'll just cheese him, because at this point, I feel he deserves it. <laughs> uh, man, recording curse, man. I haven't died of these boars in months, but now that I'm recording, I died of both of them. I'll just run past you and have my blood stain. Da -na 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 -na. What are you gonna do, boar? Uh, oh, did you wanna hit me? Too bad. I'll just stay at a safe low at a safe range while you wonder why you can't get to me. What it well what is it, motherfucker? Ho oh, ho ho! And I'm gonna steal your head as a prize. For ultimate humiliation. Also, I didn't rest at that bonfire over there. For shame on me. Oh well. We just we'll just not we'll just not die. Actually, I really should rest there. In, only you know, in case I do die, I don't want to have to run back super far. Cause you know I'm recording. I'd rather waste you know 30 seconds on a sure thing down here than like three minutes running back. Send, calling the elevator back down, riding it back up, you know, all that. Also, can I level up? No. Well, I guess I'm gonna lose all. I should just. 
I should use like uh, like a soul or two. That way I can level up. I'll lose as l I'll lose less souls that way, less total souls overall from this guaranteed death I'm about to be facing. I mean I know there's a way to like get around it, but it seems like it's more trouble than it's worth. I see people like try to do it over and over and over, and they just fail at it over and over and over. It looks way too difficult, and you can die doing it, which, you know, in all honesty, I think, since I haven't really done it before, I know it's there, I, I get the idea of how to do it, but I haven't done it before, so it'll probably take me way more time to just do it than to just, you know, get to run into this death I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to run into. The thing I like about this halberd is it's got some range on it, and you can stay pretty safe. I mean, you can stay at a pretty safe range. Actually, we don't want to go piss off that golem yet because there's spiky dudes coming. Hiya, buddy. Oh, too far away. Oh god, that shield bash. That would have actually killed me if I didn't dodge right then and there. Uh, we'll just circle around and get it back. So we'll play it safe because these guys are buffed from that mage over. That's why they have that blue aura around them. Makes them do a lot more damage. They already do a lot of damage kill this guy we're gonna get this broken pendant now the broken pendant doesn't drop unless I kill unless you kill that Hydra from earlier that I killed uh, that's why I wanted to make that side trip before coming here because we're, we're gonna have to come to this area so we might as well kill the Hydra first Ooh, that was close that hit probably would have killed me if he got it off in time Ah, yeah, that you get that arrow off. The even the arrows are really bad, actually. Oh god, <laughs> I swung right over his head. Ah, okay, we'll just block that. Oh, one-handed attacks do not one-shot these guys. Good to know. We definitely do a significantly higher amount of damage when two-handing. In fact, I think there's actually a mimic over there. Which can drop a pretty nice item. I mean, it's not necessarily a nice item, but it is a really funny item. Which I'll definitely show to all y'all before the episode ends. Assuming he drops it, I'm pretty sure the one over there has a guaranteed chance of dropping it. But otherwise... Otherwise, it's a rare drop. Like, a really, really rare drop. That's a Mimic. He's a fake chest. Smash the crap out of him. You can tell if they're fake because the chain looks different. The chain on a mimic faces. Oh no, he doesn't always drop it apparently, unless I'm thinking of a different mimic. Um, the fake ones have a chain that points away from the chest. The real ones have a chain that sort of forms a circle that kind of points back towards itself at the end. So that's how you. That's how you can tell which is a mimic and which one is not a mimic. Also, if you stare at the mimic chest long enough, you'll actually notice it breathing. It slightly opens and slightly closes. And if you angle the camera just right, you can kind of see in its mouth a bit when it when it inhales. It's pretty cool. It's a lot of uh, detail put into that, put into that one enemy that you don't see too often. I failed that parry. It's only half failed that one. And we're just gonna repose this guy. Take care of him, no problem. Lizard! Death. Alright, so now. I would heal up, but uh, this is the part where we have to die. So. Here we go. And the reason why we have to die is not only because we can't hit him with a melee weapon from here, but because he instantaneously regenerates his health as you deal damage. The only way to actually kill this guy is to one-shot him, and it's actually completely impossible to do that without some sort of hacked weapon, or just, you know, some sort of hacked way to do ridiculous sums of damage uh, in one hit, so that was out of the question, obviously. And even if you do kill him like that, you still have to fight him again later, because you fight him in a different location uh, after that. And, uh... Can I not hit this guy through the wall with the halberd? I guess I'll have to do a jumping attack. That's pretty weird that you can't hit him through the wall with the normal thing. You can with just about every other weapon, or at least everyone I've tried thus far. No. No. 
Oh, missed. Come back here. Yeah, back stab. All right. We're going down at the speed of sound to stop that annoying sound because sound, 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 sound. I said sound a lot. All right, uh, it's good man. She's gonna shoot water at me. That would have been bad if they grabbed me for that because that was a grab move. And what they do is they pick you up and they stab you. Oh god, like that one almost sort of did. You can't backstab him, by the way. Almost forgot to mention that until I got a backstab just there. Uh, yeah, they 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 have a backstab hitbox. I hope that they have more enemies in Dark Souls 2 that you can backstab, considering that they are pretty much nerfing it. You can, like in this one, when you're doing the backstab animation, you're invulnerable. Like, nothing can hit you while you're doing the backstab animation. But in uh, Dark Souls 2, you'll be able to get hit. I don't know if that'll take you out of the animation, or if you'll have to suck it up and keep taking damage while in it. I would imagine it'll take you out of it. Otherwise, I can see that being a massive death, death trap, especially in PvP. PvP, I can picture one guy... I can, I can see the trap now if you don't get it set out of it in uh, PvP. Some guy will be, like, you know, just chilling in the corner. Like, oh, you know, I'm just AFK. Why don't you run up and backstab me? And when you do, a bunch of phantoms come out of nowhere and they run out and start bashing the shit out of you while you're backstabbing that guy. I can see it now. But uh, also, earlier I said I wanted to talk about Dark Souls 2 spells, and I totally forgot about that. So, I mean, the episode's going to be ending soon, so better hurry up and talk about that. Uh, I don't know if you guys know if you guys know this, but there's actually going to be a heavy attack on the spells now, which I've seen. I've seen the way some of them looks in screenshots. It looks so ridiculous. Like there's a there's a fire spell. I don't know which fire spell it is. It might be like fireball, but there's like a fire spell, and then the heavy attack. It almost looked like the entire room was engulfed in flames. That's totally not OP, but. <laughs> It looks, it looks really freaking cool. I mean, it only looked like the entire room was engulfed in flames just because there was like a giant wall of flames in front of the guy. You couldn't see past it, so it just kind of looked like the entire room was just engulfed in it. It's pretty crazy. Take cover behind this pillar to avoid the mage. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Chugga, 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 You had to shoot acid at me. You mother friggin'. Uh. I wonder if that would uh, wear down my weapons. I don't think I've ever actually been hit by the acid ever, so I wouldn't really know. And finally, we can get this really annoying sound stuff playing. In fact, I probably should have pulled this immediately after coming up here. Just because it's, it's really annoying. I, I hate it. I don't know why, even when I have the volume for it low, it sounds super loud to me. I get the feeling I was probably talking like super loud there without realizing it because the, you know the, that music sounds so loud to me. Uh, so once we get back up to this bonfire that's way over there, I feel that like they made these stairs unnecessarily uh, not steep enough. I mean, obviously this is about how how steep stairs would actually be, but for the sake of saving us time with the traveling up these spiral staircases, they could have made it steeper. I mean, they can, come, they can come up with a whole reason why they're so steep. Maybe, maybe Seath just like taking big steps. Anyway, uh, that'll end it for this episode. Next episode, we're gonna go murder Seath. Take his soul. Look at my blade. Maybe I'll murder you. No, of course not. Uh, cause I love you. And, uh, you know, uh, we'll, uh, we'll go, go, uh, get Seath in the next episode. Bye!